So these are just some recommendations that I give to people uh, regarding enzymes. Digestive enzyme, I think everyone can benefit from a digestive enzyme. Nobody in America eats a perfect diet. You know, and it's just hard. I mean, we live in a processed world, we're busy, we're on the go, we don't plan ahead, you know, and it, you got to give your body some help. Give your body some help in, in digesting that food. So I think everybody can benefit from a digestive enzyme. That's why we say that there's an argument, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go, 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 nation, actually. And then an enzyme blend specific to your needs. I mean, there's enzyme blends for heart health. Like I mentioned, the hormone balancing to remove excess estrogens. There's great, a great, great product for candida fungal infections. Um, what is that? They have the digestive enzyme, the, the fungal infection. It's no, what is candida? Candida, it's a bacterial overgrowth in the body. When people get yellowing on their nails and toes, and a lot of people that are diagnosed with chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia actually have fungus overgrowth in their body. Uh, yeast infections, I mean, there's, there's a lot of signs of that. Um, according to a couple people, if you know Donna Gates, Body Ecology, she'll tell you that 90 plus percent of all people have a candida fungal overgrowth in their body, whether they know it or not. And it's just because of the diet we eat, you know, the sugar and processed foods. Uh, and uh, they even have, you can get enzymes to your pets. You know, a lot of pets are eating junk dog food or cat food. <laughs> <laughs> so enzymes can benefit them. Um, you know, my parents started giving their dog just olive oil and noticed a huge difference in benefits and not scratching and the health of her coat and everything. So there's really simple things you can do to help your, your pets out too. Um, minerals and vitamins. Again, don't ignore the trilogy. Enzymes, minerals, and vitamins. You need them all. You need them all working synergistically together. That's why we need to eat a variety of fresh foods so we get a variety of nutrients. Don't eat the same foods over and over. Minerals, that's the foundation. But you, you've all, most of you have heard me harp on minerals over and over and over again. Water, water, water. Enzymes, vitamins, and minerals will not do anything without water. Water is the catalyst, it's the universal <coughs> solvent, it's what breaks down everything in your body, it's what transports everything in your body, it's what transports your vitamins, minerals, and enzymes and gets them to where they need to go, it's what gets the toxins out of the body. If you're chronically dehydrated and you don't have enough water in your system, again, you're not going to see the same results. And this is kind of what I said before. Eating raw living foods, 50-50 would be great. I think that's kind of a minimum, 80% ideally. And avoid best you can, dead foods. Processed foods, white sugar, white flour, fast food. Most of the stuff Americans eat, that sad, standard American diet. Because again, eventually it will catch up with you. You know, a lot of people just kind of have this mindset that let's just live life and do whatever we want and if something happens, something happens. And that's fine, but, you know, there's, as we've discussed before, there's plenty of other cultures around the world that live into their hundreds on a regular basis, free of all disease, hiking up and down mountains, getting to see their great, great, great grandchildren, and there's no reason we can't do the same, but it starts today. It starts today. It doesn't start when you're diagnosed with diabetes or you're di diagnosed with cancer. It starts now. So, that's it. Any questions? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, wow, I got a round of applause. <laughs> 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 you have questions?